you will hold your own self back. But mama praying for you that you go get it. And so mother, you got a purpose. You tell them young men when they come around you, go get it. You shall not be denied. You still have a prophetic word in your belly, woman of God. You still have voice. You still, if you sit on a chair and you just rock and you tell them what thus saith the Lord, you continue to open your mouth and God will fill it. Amen? Now let's read on down here. And so the last verse says, and there were more noble than those. I'll let you read the whole chapter at your own leisure. I just want to get to the point. There were those more noble than those in Thessalonica in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and search the scriptures daily whether those things were so. Mm -hmm. And when you come to church and you hear the word over and over and God has proven himself over and over and over. He's done it for you over and over. Why do we slack back and not do what we need to do? Why do we have a problem if you give your 10 cent on a dollar and God bless you with $10 you can't give your dollar on 10? What's the problem with that? If he's been faithful over the dollar, why won't he be faithful over the ten? And then when he bless you with the hundred, why you can't be faithful over the ten dollars? What's the problem? Is God not God? Moving forward, my assignment to move you forward. I want you to know that these women had purpose. They knew their purpose before the foundation of the earth. It was already established. Guess what? Your purpose was already established because guess what? You have seated in, have been seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. He called you. You ain't called him. He called you. He knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. He knew me. So what are we working with? What God working with? What is he working with? You got to know who you are face to face with your purpose. And the word says they search the scriptures daily whether those things were so. Therefore, many of them believe also of honorable women which were Greek and of men, not a few. And the thing that I want you to understand, these were honorable women. Honorable women. And the word begins to go on down to tell us that they had some money. They, they were folk that were uh, ruling, it's, as you begin to read, and it talks about how Paul consorted with them. And he goes on down, and he says that he began to stir up, and there was disputes in the, in the sanctuary and all of that. But he consorted with the chief women, not a few. The fourth verse says, and some of them believed, Acts 17, 4. And some of them believed and consorted with Paul and Silas. And the devout Greek and a great multitude of the chief women, not a few. I call y'all Fox 5 women. I call y'all chief women today. You got to know who you are. You have to know who you are because if you don't know who you are, somebody will tell you who you are. And if you accept that, you will be just what they tell you you come are. Come on, come on. If you are in a domestic violence situation and you keep calling yourself the victim, guess what? The one who is beating you down is going to keep on making you a victim. Because the day you say, I choose not to be a victim today, uh, them hands right there, you need to draw them back or I'll help them draw back. You might draw back nugs. Okay. Then they start thinking about it. Well, maybe she ain't a victim no more because she don't have a victim mentality. She's like, okay, I'm about to, I'm about to be victorious over this domestic violence thing because you're not going to rule. I'm going to take charge over my life. You keep your hands to yourself. I keep my hands to myself, and we'll get along. Amen? Amen. Chief women, Fox 5 women, women who know their purpose, go get it. In the Bible, it talks about how in Abraham, in uh, Moses' day, they were coming out of bondages. They were coming out of things. And I declare today, you're coming out of some stuff. It's your choice, though. Yeah, got it. You got to choose to come out. We're living in a time, ain't nobody laying hands on you to get free. You got to choose to be free. Right. Oh, right. Choose to be free. We're not wearing pastor out. We're not going to do it no more, pastor. Look, I lay hands on you to agree. But I agree that you're going to make a choice. That's my agreement with you. And if you don't make a choice and you still have the same situation, my, 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 my. it ain't my problem. It's not me that don't have the problem with the grief. It's your agreement. 